I've always wanted a little bit thicker hairline and especially the little spots at the temple. Um, I've always seemed to be a little bit thinner than the rest of my hair. So when I style it, a lot of times it just feels like it's very thin in this area. And I talked to Dr. Dan and he felt like it would be, I would be a good candidate. So I'm here. Fitness icon Monica Brandt is undergoing really the first live hair transplant performed on a woman on the World Wide Web. And the fact that we have someone who is so well known willing to come out, talk about uh, her issue. And, you know, her issue is a little different than a lot of the people that are viewing the program. She is not suffering with androgenetic alopecia or common female pattern hair loss. She really just required some hairline lowering, and that's why she decided to contact Dr. McGrath, who is in Austin, Texas, to have the procedure performed. Let's say hi to Dr. McGrath. Dr. McGrath, how are you? Good. How's everyone doing out there? Thank you for joining us. I see that you are at the point where you are now placing the recipient sites, right? Yeah, we're making, the, uh, we're making all the recipient sites. We've gotten through the portion, obviously, where we've harvested the donor. Uh, the tissue's been dissected, and... Uh, I'm on the tail end of making the recipient sites, and what we're doing with Monica is a, a pretty standard hairline lowering procedure where we're trying to maintain that nice female hairline pattern, which we've done. And uh, now what I'm doing is going through and finishing out the recipient sites, uh, just working towards maximizing the density so that it blends perfectly with her existing hairline, and so far it's looking beautiful. You really are the first woman to go live with a hair transplant. <laughs> We've done, I, we've I like to start uh, start things up, I guess. She's a trendsetter. <laughs> and I've known Dan for so many years, and I trust him with everything about me. Um, he's a really good friend and confidant and just a great doctor, and I just trust him with, with anything. So it was a no-brainer, to be honest. 40% of hair loss sufferers in our country are women, and people don't understand that. They don't even realize how many women suffer to different degrees sure. that suffer with hair loss, and there are options out there. There's no doubt, no doubt. Well, one of the exciting things for me is when I do my photo shoots is to have a little extra hair right in front to play with. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? It takes very little hair to make a big difference in your appearance. Hey, Dr. Charles, how are you? Not bad. What's happening? I uh, nothing. I just uh, I don't know if I've ever had the opportunity to meet uh, Dr. McGrath, but I wanted to say it looks like he's got a, a very nice uh, surgical center and a nice surgery going on there. Thank you, Glenn. How are you? Not bad. Uh, I came in a little bit late, so I kind of missed out on some of the beginning stuff on some of the explanation of what exactly they're doing. I'm just curious on how many grafts they're doing and and did they did they do an, uh, uh, an advancement or is it just just grafting in the hairline? It's just pretty much exclusively uh, advancing the hairline about a half inch, maybe uh, at the most a centimeter and a half. Uh, Monica has experienced over the past three, four, five years a very slow sort of progression, male pattern type progression of loss in the frontal zone uh, and mainly in the temples. You know where they get, you know, our female patients will get that, that slight temporal recession. And it's not a female pattern because it's not diffuse. It's just in the frontal zone. And she had talked to me about, you know, she would love to get that kind of brought down and corrected and kind of get it back to where she used to have it. So you know, this has been in discussion for a period of time, and I showed her examples of what we could do, and I've done similar procedures for other female patients. And, you know, she's a good candidate. She's an appropriate candidate. She's got reasonable expectations. And we're doing exclusively, you know, for the most part. I mean, we're going to do about a 12, 1300 graft case just on the frontal hairline and into the, the superficial uh, temporal margin. Uh, and we're probably going to use seven, 800 single hair grafts, so 20 gauge single hair grafts. So, it's really going to be about refining and creating that, that sort of soft, wispy look a little bit lower. I was excited about getting this done. And um, when I spoke to Dan about it, he said, oh, no problem. It's easy. And when I started talking to other my girlfriends and other women and people in the industry, I have had more response over women with the exact same concern. And I thought, what a great opportunity to show. That's one of the things that I love to do is show my experiences and my secrets, if you will, to you know what what can be done in in a conservative manner. That's you know fun and and just better someone's life.